Okay, lovely. Tip four of our positive mealtime experience series is let your little one explore the food before eating it. I know what you're thinking. Food exploration sounds fun, but it means mess. Lots and lots of mess. Trust me, I get it. But hear me out why it's worth the mess. Food exploration is not just fun for baby, but it's actually important for your little one's development. Now, allow me to ask you something, please. Imagine being invited to a dinner party, but you don't know what sort of food is going to be served. You're not allowed to ask questions about the food. Look at it before eating it. And on top of that, someone else spoon feeds it to you. How are you going to feel about eating at this stage? I don't know about you, but I would lose my appetite. So you see, not allowing baby to explore the food before eating it can feel the same way. Food exploration allows babies to use all their senses to gather important information about the food they're about to eat. When touching the food, baby can feel the temperature. Is it cold? Is it warm? Baby can feel the texture and consistency. Is it smooth, wet, lumpy and so on? When baby squeezes it in the fist, they learn about its firmness. Is it soft or hard? This will give baby some information about how hard to bite it and how to chew it. If baby spreads the food on the face, gets to smell it, and when taking it to the mouth, gets to taste it. By engaging all their senses in this way, babies are able to build a complete sensory profile of the food and create memories about that food, which will help baby in the future when that food is being offered again. This will also help baby differentiate between different types of food and recognize different flavors and textures. It's like their taste buds are in training and the more they explore they, and discover, the more confident they'll become in their own food choices and preferences. Who knows, you might have a little foodie on your hands. Plus, babies are natural explorers. They constantly desire to learn about the world around them. And food exploration is a perfect way to satisfy that desire. So work with it, not against babies' natural curiosity. And if you're not convinced so far, I'll give you one extra reason. Food exploration also supports their fine motor skills. By grasping, poking, manipulating food and by taking it to the mouth, Babies are strengthening their hand-eye coordination and pincer grasp. So, how can you support your baby in their food exploration? Here are three tips. One, if you're doing baby led weaning, that's the whole point of it, to allow babies to explore the food. So carry on doing that. But if you are spoon feeding purees, place one or two teaspoons of purees onto the tray or bowl and let baby explore for a few minutes before starting. And consider using the preloaded spoon technique, at least for part of the meal. Two, offer a variety of safe food textures, tastes and flavors to expand baby's palate. Three, be patient and relax. Let your baby space guide the exploration and don't force them to eat anything they're not ready for. By following these tips, you are creating positive experiences and establishing positive food associations. My action step for you is, not that it's not obvious enough, is to embrace the mess and let your baby explore food in their own way. I know how tempting it can be to try controlling the mess and keep everything neat and tidy, but doing so can actually rob baby of valuable learning experiences. By embracing the mess, you are sending a powerful message to your baby that learning and discovery are more important than perfection. And isn't that a lesson we all could stand to learn? If you agree, let me know in the comments by typing yes. See you in the next video. And until then, keep up the fantastic work. Mwah.